sky is uh, a deep black uh, when viewed from the moon as it is when viewed from uh, cislunar space, the space between the Earth and the moon. The idea of, of outer space uh, and this, this concept that space is this dark, uh, foreboding, dangerous place that you don't want to go to without some special ceremonial garb, which they call spacesuits, um, is, is a way of impeaching God's uh, abode in heaven, okay? Because you cannot, have, you cannot have a God in heaven and have outer space. If you read in Ezekiel chapter 1, uh, verses 25 through 28, God's throne is surrounded by brightness, okay? But space is full of darkness, okay? And notice how they call it outer space. So they've taken heaven and turned it into hell. Why? Why do I say that? Well, because what do we read? What do we read uh, that hell is like? Uh, in Matthew 25, 30, uh, we have Jesus casting the unprofitable servant into outer darkness where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. See, that sounds very much like outer space. And he indicates that there's an everlasting fire. Okay, we see that in Matthew 25, 41. Okay, it's an everlasting punishment. Well, this blackest of black, we have astronauts repeatedly talking about the, um, uh, the uh, outer space as the blackest of black, okay, in outer space, outer darkness. They're turning heaven into hell is what they're doing. And it's, it's very dangerous. It's, a, it's got a dangerous, perfect vacuum, okay, um, and... There's gamma rays and cosmic rays and X-rays, and these things will burn you up, okay? Uh, these things will destroy you unless you have protection. Now, they never have explained how all of these gamma rays, X-rays, and so forth in outer space, how the astronauts are protected from that because there is no lead protection in those suits. Um, and interesting, those suits can hardly be pressurized either because in order to be pressurized, they would not be able to move in them. Uh, if anybody's familiar with vacuums, because the space is supposed to be a vacuum, uh, they would be like the Michelin man if they were in a spacesuit in a vacuum. They would not be able to move their limbs, their hands, 